Join me as we prepare this delicious Kamut Hot cereal with fruits. We want to start off by turning on our stove. Then we want to add a four ounce of water, two cloves, five ounces of chopped peach, and two tablespoons of agave sweetener. So we want to stir, and then we want to time this for 10 minutes on medium heat. The only thing that will affect the dryness of the peaches, how quick the water dries up, is how sweet your peaches are, or how hard your peaches are, and how high your heat is. So I normally watch my heat, to be honest, and I normally, even though I time it for 10 minutes, I still watch the pot to see how the peaches are progressing. So even though I say 10 minutes, all depends on how high your heat is and the texture of your peaches plays a role on whether they will finish quicker or not. In my first video, I said 20 minutes, but this time, 10 minutes looks sufficient. So keep that in mind. So we'll be back. So the peaches are ready. They're nice and golden, as you can see. Let us now get ready to prepare our Kamut hot cereal. So to prepare the Kamut hot cereal, we want to turn our stove on. And then we want to add in four ounces of fresh coconut milk. Then we're going to add in seven ounces of Kamut hot cereal. This is the one I prepped. And then you will need a slotted spoon just to mash it down, to spread it evenly. If you just prepared this Kamut hot cereal, you wouldn't need to mash it down because it will be very loose. Once it's stored in the refrigerator or once it has been cooked about two hours after or so, then you will have to smash it just to make sure that it is loose enough to accommodate the milk. And then you can let it boil for about a few seconds. If it's been in the refrigerator for about 30 seconds or less, if it was made today, then you can just let it heat for 10 seconds or less. If you want to add sweetener, you can, but the toppings that I will be adding to this will already have sweetener, so I don't want to add any additional, but you can feel free to do so. Let us now plate. Using three tablespoons of prepped peach, one ounce of fresh blueberries, one tablespoon of hemp seeds, all these fruits are totally optional, including the agave sweetener. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing, like, and share if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.